Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Tutorial Grid. Now, today we are going to be learning how to create what's called a 3D bump map. Now, most people think you have to have a 3D program in order to do this, which we kind of have a 3D program, but it's not an actual, you know, three-dimensional program. But it basically gives the effect of giving a 3D texture onto a... very flat not very 3d at all I mean there is some third dimension to it but there's just not a whole lot there so what we're gonna do is now that we have that little curves adjustment on there we're going to hit go ahead and duplicate it so control D for duplicate and we're going to type in threshold and we're going to bring that threshold down onto our cement layer now this adds kind of a weird little effect and you're probably wondering now why does this really affect anything? How is this going to affect this? We will show you or I will show you. So uh, we're going to bring our levels down since we don't have a whole heck of a lot of black like this is going to give our deepest levels of um, our black and our shadows which is going to help us uh, basically create this cool little butt map effect. So we'll bring this down to about 48, 56, depending on how much black you really want to put in there. So bring that down and we will change our transfer mode to multiply. Now already this is giving off kind of a cool little, uh, little effect. And then uh, we are going to go ahead and duplicate this layer again. So control D and then we're going to change our transfer mode again to add. Now this brings a heck of a lot of white. Now we are going to pull in just our specular layer which is going to be our white layer on top of here. So we'll go ahead and just bring up our specular tivity about right there. Uh, yeah, that'll work. Just a little bit of specularity. But we're going to go ahead and shut this off. So we'll turn that off completely. We don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Nobody does. Okay, cool. So now, now that we have this kind of set up, we're going to go into our um, place a Gaussian blur on there. So we're going ahead and hit Gaussian, Gaussian blur. and drag that down into our middle composition and we're going to kind of blur it out just a tad it's kind of gives it just a softer feel about right there well a little less oops kind of blur that all right and then we're going to go back into our top layer which is going to be our specular layer and we're going to do the same thing so we'll go ahead and bring down the Gaussian layer and pull that up a tad and that's going to blur out our white specular level 
All right, that's looking kind of good. <clears throat> now we are going to go ahead and add a light. So we'll go ahead and hit layer, new light, point light, and we'll go ahead and hit OK. Now we're already getting some cool little effect here of our light transmission, which if you notice on our bump map, it looks very realistic and reacting with our bump map. Yay! And that's kind of what we were wanting to create. Well, that is what we were wanting to create, that really cool 3D bump map. So this is our cement layer, and uh, it's reacting with our light very, very well. Let me just kind of bring that in. Really quick, really easy to do. And if I, well, yeah, I'll just show you with a camera. So to add a camera, um, go to Layer, New, Camera. And you can set it up to any film size, uh, 35 millimeters, usually what I use, 35 mil. Go ahead and push your camera tool here. And then just, it re reacts very well with our 3D light and our 3D layer. But that is quick and simple way to create this neat little effect to uh, give that nice little 3D light transmission a whirl. Alright, but anyway, this is uh, Cherokee at the Tutorial Grid. I hope you enjoyed our small little short tutorial, and uh, we will see you next time.